Okay, folks. Ever see something so stupid, so ridiculous, so insanely... I don't even have... The, that you don't even have the words for it. Honestly. I mean, seriously, what is fucking happening to the world? Now, this happened in Kentucky, by the way. High school in Kentucky held an event where male students, minors, dressed in lingerie and gave lap dances to the staff. During the lap dances, female students, minors, dressed in Hooters uniforms, delivered drinks to the staff to end the yeah, um, festivities. Students were bent over a table and spanked by the staff. Might be a good time to take back the education of our children. Yeah, this is demented. If I was a parent of one of these students, and I found out my child took part in this, first thing I would do is, is if I found out my, my child had done it willingly, so I'd put my size 16 boot up his, up his ass, or her ass, either one. I'm, I'm equal opportunity ass kicker. But I would put my foot up somebody's ass, up their ass. And then I would be going to that school and putting my foot up everybody else's ass. I mean, this is absolutely demented. To quote Hank Hill, I'm going to kick your ass. Then I'm going to reenact kicking your ass. <laughs> Honest to God, this is what what has happened. What is happening to the world? Where minors, okay, children, are dressing up. Male male ch male children are dressing up in lingerie and giving lap dances to staff, teacher, to ma Oh my brain! Oh, I think my brain just committed suicide. I think it did. It just killed itself to serve, to save itself from the stupidity of what of what I'm looking at right now. Can you imagine? This is almost this is almost as bad as that as them people that took the kid took that little boy to a strip gay gay bar, had him strip while people or you know had him give sexy dances while grown gay men threw money at him. A 10-year-old, that was a 10-year-old, by the way. That's why I say this is almost as bad, because it's a 10-year-old dancing for money at a gay bar. Yeah, and all those, oh, we're not coming for your children. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, evidence to the contrary. Plus, dressing up little girls as, as like, I don't care if they're 15, 16, 17, they're children, as far as I'm concerned, okay? These are kids. Dressed up, teenage girls dressed in Hooters outfits. Oh, God, I'm telling you. The world has gone mad, folks. The world is insane. There's something seriously wrong with people these days. This, like, to, to, for someone... If I was a teacher in this in this school, and I saw this, I would be raising hell. I'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Have you lost your ever-loving fucking minds? There is no reason this should ever have taken place. I would be livid. I'd threaten to quit if they didn't do so, if they didn't apologize for it, and I would quit. I don't want to be around this. Many years ago, I worked with a youth group at a church. Okay, kids are kids are important to me. Okay, I like kids, not and not in that way, you perverts. Fuck off. I like kids because I I always want the best for them. And there was a guy who who was there. He wasn't supposed to be there, but it turns out he was the cousin of the youth leader at the time. And the youth leader at the time shouldn't have been in charge of the youth group anyway, but anyway, this guy was 18 years old. He was a little bit slow in the head. Like he wasn't he wasn't mentally handicapped severely. He was slow. Okay? Like he just wasn't 
as swift as everybody else. So he might have had the mentality of a 15-year-old, but he was 20. Anyway, I got complaints from 13-year-old girls saying that he was putting his arms around them and touching them inappropriately. And when I raised my concerns to the youth leader, I basically said, either he goes or I go. And if I go, you know half these kids are going with me. They'll leave too because they know that I'm the only thing, that I'm, the, that I'm protecting them. And they know that when I'm gone, there won't be anybody to protect them. The youth leader looked at me and said, sorry to see you go. He'd rather, he would rather have his 20-year-old cousin feeling up the kids than keep me on staff speaking out against what he's doing or what this guy was doing. I walked away. I've walked away from th from st something that something you know like perverted bullshit, and I never felt one bit guilty about it, because I wasn't getting named in some class action lawsuit against the church for allowing this guy to run around and grab and grope kids. The youth group shortly after that failed, like it it went downhill because nobody would show up. But if I was a teacher in this situation. The second I saw a teenage boy come out dressed in lingerie, I'd put a stop to it. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's pedophilia. I don't care who you are. And a girl dressed in a Hooters uniform, yeah, it might not be the most revealing outfit. But, oh, God, this just makes me sick. This is what's happening in our schools. It's time to time to start homeschooling your, your own kids. Your kids. It's time to start home. I'm I'm half sick. Re think or like just looking at these pictures. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm half throwing up in my mouth here. But it's time to homeschool your kids, people. Schools are now schools aren't learning learning facilities anymore. They're pervert they're pervert classes. And look at the look at the picture down the bottom. Let's see if I can expand this out and get a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but down in the bottom right hand corner. Shit. Is that even I don't know. Anyway, if you look if you can see it down in the bottom right hand corner, look what this kid's look what this boy is doing. He's putting hands like rubbing on a teacher. Are you fucking kidding? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Folks. It's time to take back take back your children's education. This is what your teachers are teaching your kids in school. Alright? I would be livid. If I was a parent of one of these kids, I would be absolutely livid over this. And there would be some... There would be a lot of... Like, my mother's parenting method was boots to asses. Basically, if you, you're misbehaving, you're getting a kick in the ass. I'd be doing a lot of kick ass kicking in this situation if I was a parent. And this ought to make you all mad too. Anyway, I'm going to end it there because I'm just making myself mad. Y'all, be good to each other and have a good one. <laughs>